Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to show you how to actually put on the eyeshadow because these are the kind of things that I wish I knew when I was starting with makeup and yeah, there's a lot that goes into it that I don't go over in my normal makeup tutorials and how I'm going to do this is on one side of my face I'm going to do everything that you're not supposed to do with eyeshadows and on the other side I'll put the eyeshadow on properly so you guys can see the difference right away and before we get started with the tutorial I just want to put a little disclaimer that just because I say you shouldn't do something doesn't mean you really shouldn't this is just from my own perspective perspective and what works on my eyes there's no rules with makeup makeup is all about fun and creativity and there are no hard rules so yeah I just really wanted to say that quickly and let's get into the tutorial so today I'm going to be using this modern renaissance palette just because it's so versatile it's really easy to create a neutral look with this palette and the first and foremost thing that I do with any eyeshadow makeup look is that I prime my lids I actually don't use a eyeshadow primer just because I've tried those and it didn't really work out for me so what I do instead is I use a translucent powder like this one this is Rimmel's stay matte translucent powder I used to use this powder a lot back in the days even on my face but I feel like on the face it just looks a little bit cakey but it works perfectly for the eyes and other than that I always keep a kitchen towel on hand because I always like to wipe my brushes um, so yeah that's just one more thing so the kind of brush that I use is something like this it's just a big flat brush and I basically just go in the powder and swipe it all across my lids And I do actually apply quite a lot just because it really helps blend the eyeshadows seamlessly so so the first don't is going to be using a really dark eyeshadow for your transition eyeshadow just because it will make your entire look super muddy so this is exactly what you don't want to do So this is where your transition eyeshadow look goes and you don't want to put a dark eyeshadow like this super close to your brow bone just because it ends up looking really really muddy. So instead what you do is you pick an eyeshadow that's closer to your skin tone and you use a blending brush like this. As you can see this has really fluffy bristles and that way it's just super easy to blend it across your lids. So I'm gonna go in the eyeshadow Raw Sienna and I tap off the excess and the way I hold the brush is from the far end just because this way you're not really packing on the eyeshadow you're blending it in. If you hold it from here you're gonna end up packing the eyeshadow way too harshly on the eyelids and that looks muddy as well so just keep in mind hold the brush from here and just apply it above your crease and the place you put your transition eyeshadow is always going to be above your crease so about right here and I always start from the outer corner and then I pull the eyeshadow in And you want to keep a really light hand and feathery strokes and just keep moving in a windshield wiper motion. And you can always go back in and add more eyeshadow but it's harder to take off eyeshadow so it's always good to start off with a really light hand. This is what I personally do um, just because I really like catty eyes. So I don't pick up any eyeshadow, but whatever that's left on the brush, I sort of just fan out at the corners, like so. And this gives me a really nice catty eye shape. And this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I personally like to do this for my eye shape. 
As for the crease eyeshadow, you don't want to pick something that's shimmery and you also don't want to bring it down to your eyelids because that's where your eyelid eyeshadow is going to go. So your crease eyeshadow should always be darker than your transition eyeshadow and I prefer to keep it matte but there are a few times where I have used a slightly shimmery crease eyeshadow and that's okay. It really depends on your preference but I prefer to keep it matte. So this is exactly what you don't do. So I'm picking up red ochre and the way you hold your brush like this you will see that it's going to bring the eyeshadow on the eyelid and that's what you don't want to do. So if you hold it on an angle like this, like even though I'm putting on the eyeshadow on my crease, it's bringing it down on my eyelids. And personally, I actually don't change my brush between the transition eyeshadow and the crease eyeshadow because I feel like that way it blends the both eyeshadows together better. Um, but if that depends on the preference, you can change from this kind of brush to a smaller crease brush like this. So this is a little bit skinnier, but it's still fluffy enough to blend the eyeshadow in the crease area. But I'm going to use the same eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in Cypress Umber and I'm going to pick a tiny bit because this eyeshadow is super pigmented and I'm going to tap off the excess. So how you're supposed to hold the brush is actually at this kind of angle rather than like this. If you hold it like this, like I said, it will go on your eyelids. If you hold it like this, it will go directly on the crease and it will blend it upwards. Although I like to start the crease eyeshadow from here. So I like to put it on the outside corners like this and then blend it in. Now there's no eyeshadow on my brush, I just wiped it off on the kitchen towel and I'm just gonna blend the two eyeshadows, the transition and the crease together. Now at this point it really depends on you if you want to build that crease eyeshadow or if you want to leave it like this. I am going to build on the eyeshadow intensity so I'm going to pick up a little bit more and just add it on the outside corners. And with the crease eyeshadow, I also slightly fan it out to keep up with the cat eye shape. And now you can go back and forth between the transition eyeshadow and the crease eyeshadow to keep them blended in. So now you'll see I'll go back in the raw sienna and I'm just going to blend it in with the crease eyeshadow with the same brush. And I'm going in back in the crease eyeshadow. So like I said, you can go back and forth and create the intensity of the eyeshadow that you want. So now as for the eyeshadow that goes on your lids, I always prefer to use a flat eyeshadow brush. So what you don't want to do is use a blending brush to put the eyeshadow on your eyelids because it just doesn't give you the kind of intensity and the kind of pigmentation that a flat shader brush would. So you'll see I'm going to go in with Primovera and I'm going to use my blending brush and you'll see that it just won't give me the pigmentation that it should. And you never ever want to bring up this eyeshadow above your crease because your crease is going to be sparkly and you just don't want that kind of hot mess. So you can see that as I brought it up above the crease, now my crease is a little bit shimmery and it just it does not look good. So the kind of brush that I actually use is a flat shader brush like this. So with any metallic or shimmery eyeshadows, what I always, always, always do is I spray the brush with my setting spray. And the setting spray that I use 
is the dewy setting spray by NYX because this setting spray actually gives you that nice wet shimmery metallic eyeshadow look and I really like that so I'm just gonna spray it on the brush like both sides and then I'm gonna go back in the eyeshadow Primavera and I always start in the inner corner and then I bring the eyeshadow out And I make sure that I don't go above the crease. So I keep packing on the eyeshadow until I have the intensity that I want. Sometimes after putting on the lid eyeshadow, I go back in the crease eyeshadow just in the outside corners. Because I feel like some of it kind of goes away when I put on the shimmer eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pack it on again in the outside corners. And at this point, you can see a harsh line between the two eyeshadows. So what I do is I go back in my blending brush and I'm going to pick up the transition eyeshadow. And I'm going to use that to blend the two eyeshadows in. Now, as for the inner corner highlights, I like to use a tiny brush like this. So I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. It's a really pretty champagne gold eyeshadow. And what I've seen a lot with inner corner highlights is this is what you don't want to do basically. And even on the eyebrow highlights, I've seen people bring it all the way in and out. And I feel like that's a bit too much. It just doesn't look natural. So you can see by doing this, it actually creates a pretty harsh line between the crease eyeshadow and the eyebrow highlight. So instead, what I do is I put it directly in the inner corner and just bring it down just a little bit only keeping it to the inner third of the eyes and with the eyebrow highlights i like to place it in the peak area and then blend the rest of it on the outwards outwards outside whatever <laughs> you guys know what i mean so i put most of the product here and then whatever is left on my brush i'll brush it outwards and then usually I go back in my blending brush with no eyeshadow on it and I'll just blend in the transition eyeshadow and the highlight now onto the lower lash line I use a brush like this it's a flat brush but as you can see it's a little bit domed and this kind of shape helps you get really under the lash line and tight line it so with the eyeshadow underneath your eyes what you don't want to use is a brush like this like a fluffy round brush because it will bring the eyeshadow way down too much and you don't want that Yeah, like you can see, the eyeshadow literally is everywhere. So instead, you use a brush like this and you pick up the darkest eyeshadow, usually the one that you put on your crease, and you basically tight line your under lash line. And make sure you don't bring it too down and too on the inner corners. As I get in the inner corners, I basically like brush it outside. So that way it deposits less product. You want to place most of the product on the outside corner. And now I'm going to use a brush like this. This is a angled brush. And I'm going to go in the raw sienna and I'm just going to blend out the lower lash line. I 
And then usually I'll go back in the darker eyeshadow and I'm gonna tight line it again to make up for all the pigment that was lost during blending. Now at this point, I'll kind of step back. Um, I'll place a mirror further from my face and I'll just see how it basically looks, everything together. Because when you keep the mirror like right here, you it kind of looks different when you put it further from your face and see the whole picture. Um, so yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna like see if everything's okay. If I wanna add a little bit more intensity, I'll go back in the eyeshadows and pack it on more. Okay, and this is pretty much how you put on your eyeshadow. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, put on mascara, false lashes, or maybe some eyeliner. And I'll be right back and you'll see the exact result of both eyes. But so far, this is how it looks. So I just put on some eyelashes and eyeliner on this eye and hopefully you guys can see the difference between the two eyes. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you guys like these kind of videos where I just sit down and talk to you guys in detail about makeup, eyeshadows, products and things like that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!